What is up, YouTube? This is Wi Fi Memory here today, and today I am going over my thoughts on the new Battle Timer and uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Now, really and truthfully, it's not really new. We've been experiencing this in Pokemon Sword and Shield, and I'm just trying to give you my thoughts. Um, according to the latest Verlicify video, which I know is very credible, right? He actually only gave him, like one source. And that source was not Pokemon, so not very credible. But it gave me the, I, I, it gave me something to think about. And that is, according to his latest video, <clears throat> the battle timer will be set to 20 minutes in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. What does that mean? You know, we're kind of looking at this. I want to give you a little bit of history in this video as well as what some other people in them in this um, format think about this obviously we do know what format this affects this does not affect VGC obviously because that's gonna be played on sword and shield so called what Pokemon has said that's official the format that this will be affecting is single 6v6 now we we know that that's a fact um, singles battle spot really isn't affected by a 20 minute timer. VGC is not really affected by a 20 minute timer. It's only the classic singles 6v6, you know. Um, and that kind of hurts because going back to these older games, what was Gen 4 most famous for was its competitive 6v6 uh, format. Um, that was back when Zach chats and everything was going on. You could actually go on Smogon.com and they actually had like a battle finder. You could go on there. I think you had to log into your account and then you go push random battle finder and then you can connect with that person that they paired you with on the DS. Battle that person. If it's a good enough battle, you actually try and upload that to YouTube. And that's something I did back in the day. Um, ran a few channels when I was like 10 years old. So um, you can actually look it up. Uh, you can type in Wi-Fi Merriman. And sometimes you can find those battles. Um, you can look up White Apom. I did run a channel called White Apom. It may have gotten a hundred subscribers. It wasn't very popular either. But you go look them up. Did a little bit of I did a lot of smoke on singles battles back in the day. I really enjoyed it. That's why I played. That's why I strive to do to get better. Granted, when you go on those and look them up now, because I know you guys are going to. Remember, I was like 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. So no judging. No judging's allowed. Anyway, Pokey Aim. MD once said that 6v6 games cannot be played in a 20 minute timer. He said that. Um, as another content creator, that's a plus one, and he's quoted this many times. He said, You can play a stall like battle and still have plenty of time in these uh, 20 minute formats. So which one's correct? The answer is actually both. And now let me explain a little bit. Yeah, I, I can see where Poke Games going at because Poke Games want to strive to get the best. He he's kind of like the top singles guy, so you kind of listen to Poke Game. And he says to play on the DS with all of its animations and stuff, which is the ideal format. You want to play on your switch on your game card whatever that's what you want to do that's what you want to play on that's because you strive for those animations you strive to see Pikachu use Thunderbolt you know and then you see a little Thunderbolt going off you strive to see those that's what you want to see but those animations with um with a continuous timer is really affecting the amount of turns you can use um just think about all these other animations and stuff too, like Dynamax, you know, um, Megas, which will not be in Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, um, Z moves, etc. Like you think about all these different mechanics that we went through 
These won't be in Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl. That's why I'm saying that's a plus one's also correct. You can play a style game, and he's actually proven it. You can play style and still do this within 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, like he said, if you play 10 games, he says that I can guarantee you, you can, um, what's the wording? Nine out of your 10 games will not go down to style or won't go down to timer. Poke Aim says you can't have a battle go through unless it goes through timer. So they're kind of two different, I guess, spectrums. And I'm trying to meet in the middle for them, you know, for this video, right? Um, but my future plans are I'm going to start. I'm going to, we're going to look into this a little bit. When Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl comes out, I'm going to be playing those games. I'm going to go build me a competitive team. And I'm going to try and play some Pokemon for fun. That's what this game is for anyway. It's for us to have fun. So I'm not going to dramatize all this timer stuff. I don't think it's something that I need to worry about. I think we all play for fun. Which I feel like that's what Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl is for. Um, is for us to kind of relax, have fun. This is some OG games that we're about to go play. And it, it's going to be nice for when the next games after this comes out that are going to be competitive. You go back to the basics and then they're going to probably introduce a new mechanic uh, and then we're going to have to take what we learned from being basic and add that to the new mechanic of the next generation. Every generation for a long time has introduced a new mechanic most of those new mechanics have not been very welcome. Megas were okay, but only a select Pokemon could be Mega, Mega Evolved. So that kind of hurt. Um, Z moves probably was the most balanced thing, but it was super powerful, right? Um, Dynamax, everyone says in singles it was busted. Um, and VGC, you had to play around it. It wasn't really fun, and it kind of took some strategic strategy out of it. It did add some strategic strategy, but I think it mostly, I think it hurt the game versus helping it, if you know what I'm saying. <clears throat> but yeah, like I say, I'm going to be playing the game. I'm going to be experimenting as soon as the game comes out to see if that battle timer is really affecting everything, and I'll try and I'll be posting videos. So you guys will be able to see it as well. Anyway, guys, if you guys have came over here, you know, curious about the battle timers and everything, I do have a few single battles. And right here is one of them. So if you uh, want to watch some singles battles, there, there, there's your single battle right there. Go check it out. Peace.